you know, we have a sort of um, um, research-oriented environment in Nines, which I think is quite attractive for students coming there. But remember the story, when I started Nines, I knew absolutely nothing about bitumen and oil. And it's the same in, uh, for students coming to Nines, that they are specialists in a particular area. And of course we need their knowledge in their particular expert area, but they are never experts in oils and bitumen. It never happens. So once they are coming to Nines, it's uh, like starting a new education for them. But it's also a very, very good opportunity to work in a, in a um, good balance between academic research and in industrial research, where they can see a need for what they are doing in the same way that they are permitted to work uh, relatively fundamental. There are opportunities for people that will work more close to uh, customer support to do so, and people that are more interested to work more towards the academic research can do so. So there is a lot of opportunity. We have a way uh, of knowing a methodology for investigation and uh, gaining new knowledge about unknown things which I think is very beneficial for industrial companies. And in fact, when I was employed in Nines, I was the first uh, person with a doctorate degree that was working in Nines. And, and now I think we are like 15 persons with a doctorate degree in Nines. In fact, it's a very good question because it's not so obvious how a customer can gain from that kind of more basic industrial research that we are doing. Because as a uh, researcher in an industry, I mean, we are not doing the really pure academic research. It's not basic research we are doing. It's some kind of industrial research. And of course, it has to agree with the business idea and the business that Nines is doing. So we cannot, it's not meaningful to do research completely outside that area. Almost all research we are doing is in cooperation with academia. So we're very much dependent on the good network of the, the best research institutions and the universities around the world on, on these areas where we are working. Certainly not, certainly not. And that is my favorite subject, in fact, because uh, <laughs> Because when it comes to the chemistry of the oil, it's a fascinating area. It's um, unbelievable. And, and for the light fractions, like gasoline and naphtha, I would say that we know more or less in detail the composition of that. But it comes to heavier fractions, like the naphthenic oils that we are producing, and certainly to the bitumen. Basically, nothing is known about the detailed chemistry. It, it, a lot is known in sort of average terms, but if you look at the exact molecules in a, in a bitumen, for example, I would say that 97% 90, of the molecules is absolutely unknown. They have never been synthesized, they have never been purified, they have never been uh, structure determined by a human being any time at all. I think that we are about the best in knowledge about the you know, the fundamental chemistry of both oils and bitumen today. And it's not because Nines is so extremely good, but it's because no one else is really digging down in the details in these areas. One, one of the most important uh, things that we have been working on over the years is the the, the relation between bitumen chemistry and the performance properties of, of uh, bitumen. Uh, and and uh, this area has been surrounded with, with a lot of myth. And uh, we are, you know, we think, and I would say that we are convinced that we actually understand now this relation between the chemistry and the uh, uh, properties. Yeah, 
that was a very big step. And you know, I was you know finished with my doctoral degree, and at that time I felt that I was a little bit constrained in my work at that time, and I would like to try something else. When I came to Nines, start working with oils and bitumen, I knew absolutely nothing. I opened a book, <laughs> and it was you know like reading Greek. I didn't understand any word of it. 